I asked three AI coding assistants to code a simple exercise for me. Now I use these tools. The ones I mainly use are GitHub Copilot, which is a paid service. It's baked into my IDE. I also use Amazon Code Whisperer, much less, but it's free and again, baked into my IDE. And I also use ChatGPT. So in this video, we're gonna try all three, GitHub Copilot, Amazon Code Whisperer, and ChatGPT to see which one gives us the best experience and the best result. Now the exercise itself is gonna be a really simple exercise, just used for demo purposes the kind of thing that you might give to somebody who is a new developer in an interview process. And it's essentially a scenario where you have two collections of employees and you just want to remove the duplicates and end up with one collection with just the unique elements inside there. I'm Saeed, the Coder Grammar, and if you want to be kept up to date with the latest industry news and tutorials, make sure you hit subscribe. So let's kick things off with Code Whisperer. Now, if I go to developer tools here, I have Code Whisperer running. And if you want to follow along and try these things, you can see my other video on how to set up Amazon Code Whisperer. And of course, remember that Code Whisperer is free. All right, so we'll start off by creating a class, which we do manually, and we'll call that Employee Manager. Okay, and let's see if we can get a main method. You just generate that from the IDE and let's create an employee type. So it already says, do you want to add employee method? So this is Code Whisperer giving me some suggestions and I can tap through these, but let's just add a comment describing what we want. We want to create a simple employee data type. Fair enough. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now let's just see if we could have said record because we're using Java 18. So maybe we could have said a simple record employee data type. Okay, no, it still generates a class. Let's just do that again. Yeah, okay, and that's good enough for now. So now let's create two collections. So let's say create a list of employees. Uh, no, we don't want a list. Create a list of employees. Oh, much better. Let's do some imports. Okay, and let's, yeah, let's. Okay, <laughs> so let's create a constructor here. So let's say Yep, looks good. We don't need getters and setters for now, but we could do with equals, which actually the IDE will generate, but we want to have a proper equals implementation. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So actually checking the values. So that's good. Okay, let's do hash code. Um, yeah, and again, that looks okay for now. So let's get rid of that comment there. Okay, we're back over here. So now let's add, let's try that again. So if we remove this, um, we do. Yeah, that's much better. So it's actually adding some genuine values now. Obviously, we've got to use list.of. And so let's now create another employee list. Employee list. Okay. That's an employee's list. So these are suggestions based on context, not looking too bad. Okay. All right. That will do. So we've got John, Jane, and John again. Let's change that to Bob. That to Bob as well. Okay, and so here we don't want Jane to be the same, so we'll just change that to Andy. Okay, so what we want is that the duplicates get removed and we end up with a collection of John, Jane, Andy, and Bob, and we don't end up with two Johns and two Bobs, okay? So now let's say we want to create a method to deduplicate them, so we can say list employees, Oops, equals D duplicated employees across both collections. Yep, okay, that's a bit better. So sometimes you have to give these AI tools a little bit more context about exactly what you want. All right, so that was the IDE creating that method, by the way, not, not the tool. But let's see if we can get an implementation out of Code Whisperer for this. Hmm.
Hmm, not massively helpful. So let's do that again. Let's. Okay, finally, we've got an implementation. So let's have a look. So you've got dedupt employee release, not dedupt containing, and then add. So dedupt contains. Yes, it's essentially looping through both collections, adding them to the deduped employee list, and it's checking that it doesn't contain them already. But let's now print the employee list that this generates. So let's say emps.stream. for each that system. All right, and then let's just give that a run and see if it does what we wanted. All right, so that output's not very helpful, so we need to add a two string method here. So let's see if we can generate one of those. It kind of does one line at a time, which is a bit weird sometimes. Sometimes it gives you a whole section, but sometimes it does one line at a time. Uh, okay, so that's that. So let's just run that again and see what happens. Okay, so we've got John, Jane, Bob, and Andy, and we didn't get John and Bob twice. So yeah, it looks like it did what we wanted. Now, there's a few things here. You could refactor this code for absolutely ages. First of all, this employee could be a record. Now, I even did try to prompt it to make a record. Now, in defense of AWS Code Whisperer, if I had been a bit more elaborate about the way I wanted it to do something or check other possible generations of code, you know, because you can switch through different versions. So if, for example, I say, class to hold customer data, for example, if I do that, I can select this or I can say next and it gives more suggestions, right? So we could have done that and we didn't just to keep things simple. Okay, so that's the first thing that this could have been a record and a lot more concise. We would have got some of these methods by default for free. Here we could have used a list of methods to store these into the collections, okay? And then the actual deduplication, I think there's probably a million ways to do this, but there's some really elegant, neat ways, either using libraries or just using streams or whatever, putting it into a set or something. There's all kinds of ways of doing that. And this isn't, I think, the most elegant solution, but it does work, okay? So that's AWS Code Whisperer. Now let's go ahead and pause AWS suggestions and enable GitHub Copilot. Before that, I'm just going to copy this file into a separate file and then delete it from here so it doesn't pollute GitHub Copilot suggestions. Although GitHub Copilot might already be listening and already have learned from this, but that's that. So I'm just going to minimize that, then enable GitHub Copilot, which I can do from here to say automatically show completions, show side by side. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing again, but see how GitHub Copilot behaves. So let's say employee manager again. Let's say a simple data structured hold employee information. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> okay, and again, it's come up with a static class. So let's just accept that. And in fact, let's delete that and see if we can get a suggestion of record out of it because we tried that with AWS Code Whisperer. Yeah, no, it does the same thing. So again, just suggests a class. So let's get rid of this. Perfect. In age and name. So now we're in the same scenario as before. So let's see if we can generate all of them at the same time. So we need a constructor equals hash code, comma, two string. It did actually say two string and then I accidentally clicked off it. So let's see if it will generate all of that. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to want to do anything. Okay, let's say constructor. Yep, okay, that's better. Let's do equals and hash code together. Let's scroll down a bit more. Okay, so it's just done equals. Let's try, there we go, hash code without actually doing anything else. Two string. Yeah, and the gray, obviously, you can see is suggestions coming from Copilot. So that's not me prompting it. It's sort of once I started to implement the first one, it started prompting me for the next one. So now we've got a constructor. We've got equals. We've got hash code and two string. All right, so let's create our main method. All right, let's just let the ID do that. So we can say create a list of employees with values. Yeah. Okay, and let's import these. All right, so we have our first collection. So let's now have another one. Create another 
another list of employees with values. Yeah, okay. So you can see that it's learning from the context. And then let's do that. John again, Jane again, and Jack again. All right. So let's change one of these to Bob. And so John and Jane shouldn't be repeated, even though they're in both collections, because we want to deduplicate them. And Bob and Jack should be there once. Okay. So now let's say a list employee Oops, equals the duplicated lists of employees. Now, in real life, I might not call it something like that, but I'm being a bit extra descriptive so that Copilot's got something to go on, which I think is a fair compromise. Or you could add comments and delete them later. So let's implement that method and jump to the end. And let's see if, oh, again, that's not very helpful. Let's see if we can get an actual suggestion. Let's open GitHub Copilot here. Fresh. Yeah, so we've got some suggestions here. So let's just accept the first one that isn't null. Okay, so what's it doing here? It's creating a new collection. It's got that there, which doesn't need to be there. So we just delete that. It goes through the employees and it checks if it doesn't contain them. Otherwise it does emps.add, which is the new array list. Yeah, which should probably work. So let's just quickly print that. So we say emps.stream. Yeah, that'll do. Again, not bad suggestion there. So let's just print that out now. And we only got one employee, which is Jack. So what happened there? Oh, okay, so this logic is flawed because what it's doing is it's saying that for any employees that exist in one, but don't exist in two, then add them to the employee list. So that's not the correct solution. So this is only gonna give us the ones that are in one, but not in two, which in this case is Jack, obviously, because Jack is in collection one, but not in collection two. So let's just see if we could rename this a bit better. So maybe let's do that, deduplicate. Instead of deduplicated, so let's say deduplicate lists of employees. Okay, let's see if we can delete this and get a better suggestion. Mm, I'm not sure this is any better. Let's see. Because it doesn't prevent duplicates. Yeah, so I don't think this will work, but let's try it. Just fix the name. Yeah, so this didn't work. Uh, lists allow duplicates. So you can see that John is there twice. Jane is there twice. So that's also no good. So let's see if we can get some more suggestions. This one is almost correct, I think, except that it's printing it out instead of returning it. So let's have a look here. So we've got, no, that's again, similar to the first one. This one looks like it might work. It's a bit cumbersome, but it might work. And let's go through this last one here. This I think is very similar to the previous one. So let's go with this one here. Okay, and let's just double check what this is doing. Just out of interest, it creates a new collection. Again, it's doing that, but due to the diamond operator, we don't actually need that. I'll just delete that. But most of the time, I'm just accepting the solutions that have been given. So we loop through the employees list, then we loop through the employees too. And in both cases, we add them to EMP if they're not already there. So this should, in theory, work. So let's just try that. Again, not very elegant, but let's see if it works. Yes, yeah, so we've got John, Jane, Jack, and Bob, and we've got no duplicates, so that's done the trick. And although I actually generally prefer <laughs> Copilot to Amazon Code Whisperer, I think Code Whisperer got to an actual working solution a bit quicker. So that's Copilot, folks. So now we've seen AWS Code Whisperer and we've seen GitHub Copilot. Next up, I'm going to take a definition of this problem and paste it into Chat GPT. So let me just launch a browser and launch Chat GPT. All right, folks, here I am in chat GPT. Now I've already written out the problem, so I'm just going to paste it here. So the problem reads as in Java 18, create a class called employee processor with the static nested class called employee. In the main method, create two lists with employees in them around three in each list, then call a method to deduplicate them based on the values of the employees and return the deduplicated list and then print this list out. I'm just going to modify this because we probably don't want to specify that the employee is a static nested class with a type called employee. Okay, let's run that and see what happens. Looking good so far. Apart from the fact that it's used a static <laughs> nested class again and not a record. Yeah, so it knows that we need those. The equals and hash code is a bit more 
complicated than the ones coming out of Code Whisperer and AWS. And it looks like it might have hit the same problem in the deduplicate method as the other suggestions. Yeah, all of this looks pretty similar to what we'd expect. <laughs> it says the deduplication method relies on the contains, but we've already seen that it's not calling the contains, it's calling add all, and it's on a list, so that's not gonna work. All right, so just to test it, we can just copy that into our IDE. So let's go back to our IDE, create a new class. A. Paste that solution in there. Rename that. Okay, let's run that. And you can see that that, as expected, hasn't worked because we've got John 30 in there twice. And we've got, yeah, and the other ones are different anyway. So the repetition here is John 30 and Alice and Eve and Bob and Jane are different anyway. So John is repeated, so this didn't actually work. Let's, given that we know how to fix this, let's go back to chat GPT and just ask it to refine the solution. All right, so first of all, let's tell it that the deduplication method didn't work. Interesting. <laughs> Again, seems like quite a convoluted, yeah, here's a more concise way. Yeah, this is better. Okay. So yeah, so it's given us a couple of options, some sort of weird convoluted way here. This one is more elegant. So let's just try. In fact, we can just copy this little snippet out. Yeah, so that didn't work either. What it's doing is it's, it's going through the first collection and then filtering anything that's not in the second collection. So you see here, we've got Jane and Bob because Jane and Bob are both not in the second collection. John is, and so John just vanished altogether. So again, that's not what we want. So let's go back to ChatGPT and this time not get it to correct this code. It basically, as far as I'm concerned, at least from the first couple of attempts, it's failed. But I'm sure we could get it to fix this, but instead of that, let's just go and see if we can get it to refine other parts of this. So let's say, can you refine the whole code again to use records. Yep, yeah, okay. It's pretty good. We've got a nice little comment in there as well, which probably isn't necessary, but not bad. Oh, it's made the processor a record as well, which is not what we <laughs> not really necessary and doesn't really make sense either. Mm. Okay. And it's also modified this to use list of, which is good. And yeah, and it's got this other approach to deduplicating. So in terms of which one worked best, well, you saw them all in action now. So I'm interested to know what you think, which one did you think was the most useful and most helpful? For me personally, I tend not to use Amazon Code Whisperer much, just because initially when I first tested them, and you can see those videos on my YouTube channel, I found Copilot to generally be a lot better. I have Copilot running a lot of the time, and yeah, it generates really helpful and useful suggestions in quite varied domains. So sometimes I might be doing some groovy scripting. I might be doing writing a build script. I might be writing some Java code, Kotlin or whatever. And it seems to be helpful in all of those domains. Chat GPT, I have to come out of my IDE and ask it to generate pieces of code. As you've seen, you already have to like correct a lot of the code that you see. So you're copying and pasting backwards and forwards. It can be quite irritating. But I do think that out of the three, the most powerful is Chat GPT. For me, I end up using Copilot the most just because it's integrated with my IDE and because I feel it's better than Amazon and Code Whisperer. But I am super interested to hear what you folks think. Is there any one of these three tools that you prefer, either because of cost or convenience, or do you think ChatGPT is just gonna take it all over and render the others completely useless? Let me know in the comments below and hopefully we can have an interesting discussion. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.